it's Lissa. Welcome back to my pet channel. So I am very excited for today's video or this month's video basically. So today is a video idea that, I mean, I guess has been going around for a while, but I did steal the idea from Autumn from Autumn's Piggies. And she has been doing like monthly haul videos where she'll just film every single time she's opening a new package and then just like post it at the end of the month. And I thought that was a really great idea because you guys always ask me all the time to show more hauls, to show the things that I am buying for my animals. And I buy a lot of stuff for my animals. Most of my money is not spent on myself. It is spent on food and my animals. <laughs> so I figured I would start opening packages each month for you guys. So you'll have monthly animal supplies hauls. So today we have the September monthly haul and then next month, October, we'll do a haul in October and there will be hauls every single month. And you guys will get to see some of the things that I kind of buy for my animals. I want to get started with the fabric. You guys told me that you wanted to see more hauls of like fabric that I buy to make guinea pig liners. So I figured I would show you. One of the liners I've actually already turned into into liners that are currently in my guinea pig cage. And I'll post a picture of it on the screen. Literally obsessed with that fabric. My literal favorite fabric that I have bought from Joann's and I love the way that they are working. I bought all of these fabrics during the 60% off sale that they were doing on Joann's a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago. So I got this fabric right here. I just got two yards of each of these just to try out because with two yards and some black fabric, I can make pretty much a whole liner and pee pad set. So I got this fabric right here. I've already wicked all of this fleece myself. I had to do like one or two washes and they have all gotten wicked. The fabric fleece that I buy from Walmart actually takes like three or four washes before those get wicked, but these from Joann's will wick in like one or two washes, usually one. This one is my favorite. I'm very excited to make liners out of this fabric because it is so magical and just beautiful. I'll probably buy some more of it as well. And I also got this light pink fleece to go underneath it to make the pads for these. So I got those two. And I don't remember if I showed this fabric in my last haul or not. I think I only showed Halloween fleece, but I got this fall fleece just for the fall time. I don't know if I'll use it for like the Halloween video, but I'm definitely going to use it for just the fall time. And I'm probably going to buy some more of it as well, but it is so, so cute. So fall themed. And there's actually like four more fabrics that are coming in the mail and they're coming on Friday, so I will show you that when those come in. Next, we have a couple boxes beside me. As you can see, I've been collecting them over here in my living room until I can show you guys what I got. But first, I got this little Halloween sweater for Dobby. It fits her perfectly. I got it on Amazon, but I got this Halloween sweater. I got it because for the week before Halloween, me and my boyfriend and my dogs are going to North Georgia just to spend the weekend in the mountains. And I wanted to get some cute little outfits for my dogs just to show them off because it's cute. So <laughs> got that sweater for her. And I also got a dress for myself that looks exactly like this. So we're probably gonna match. Next, we have a box from Chewy here. This came in a like two part order. I'm not gonna show the hay because I got the hay like a week ago, but I did order the 25 pound box of Oxbow hay and I have been using that and I haven't even put a dent in that 25 pound box, but it is, takes up a lot of space in my pet room. The 25 pound box is like probably the biggest I can go. So I got two bags of my guinea pig's favorite treats. <laughs> <laughs> I got the uh, baked treats with apple and banana. Last time I did a haul, I actually got the veggie treats and many of you guys told me that the veggie treats were actually not even healthy for guinea pigs because they have potatoes in them. And that is totally my fault for not paying attention to the ingredients. I just assumed that since that these were healthy, that the other ones were healthy as well, which you should never do. So these are good and healthy for your guinea pigs in moderation, obviously they are treats, but my guinea pigs love these. So if you're gonna buy these, don't buy the vegetable ones because they have potatoes in it and potatoes are not healthy for guinea guinea pigs. Next we have a package of sewing clips because you need so many sewing clips when sewing. Then this box I'm showing you right here is actually going to be for my Halloween video. I don't know when it is going to be uploaded. I don't know if I'm going to upload it like the beginning of October or the end of October, but I am doing a video where I'm going to decorate all of my animal enclosures for Halloween. It's going to be really fun. As many of you guys know, I decorate my apartment all year round for Halloween, but I like to do little themes for my animal cages. So this is some little Halloween stuff. I have 
have not finished buying all the Halloween stuff yet and there's also a couple things at my post office that I need to go get. But I bought a pack of these light up battery powered pumpkin lights. I need to get some batteries for them. But those are just gonna be around the guinea pig cages, mainly just the main ones. I may buy some more of them though because they did have like little bats. Then I bought a little Happy Halloween banner. I'm not going to take it out because it's a pain in the ass, but it's just glittery and it says Happy Halloween and it has some bats and pumpkins and stuff. And this is going to be draped across the wall behind Mocha and Latte is my plan. So for pictures, you'll see the banner in the background. It's gonna be really pretty. And then I also got two packs of little, like I forget what they're called, like mantle covers is what they're called. But I'm going to use them underneath the guinea pig cages, like on the tables. So for Mocha and Latte's cage and for Pumpkin and Spice's cage, they're going to have these mantle covers. They're black and they have spiders and skulls and stuff on them. So it's just gonna cover the pink on the table because you know we don't have pink during Halloween you know we've got to make it black all right and next we have these boxes right here so let's go through this one right here most of these are animal stuff I believe all of them are I also forgot to say that this will be like all of my animals I know many of you guys are here mainly just for my guinea pigs but I do have animals other than guinea pigs so most of the stuff will be for my guinea pigs mainly because they take my like my most money but there will be items for my other animals as well in these hauls then first we have a book yeah, that's for my reading channel, not for this channel. So I'll show that on my reading vlog. <laughs> so next we have a really cute set of like naturalistic guinea pig stuff. I believe you could also use it for the rats, but rats can't really chew hay. It's not very safe for them. So they had rats in the listing, but use it for guinea pigs. It is a hay ball. It's like a packed hay ball. It's actually big. It's a huge hay ball. We have this pine cone. I don't really know if pine cones are safe for guinea pigs. I've never actually tried it before. So I'm going to look it up before using that, but pine cones are cute. We have this little loofah thing. I personally don't want to give my guinea pigs this little loofah because I've seen some iffy things about it. Like some people like it, some people don't. So I think I'll stick to just not giving it to my guinea pigs. All of the wood I believe is willow wood or something like that. It is safe for guinea pigs. I did look it up beforehand. So we have this toy. And then we have this toy. All looks like it's handmade. I don't, I'm not sure if it is, but it's all tied together really nicely. I will double check and make sure it is safe wood, but I'm pretty sure it is. Then we have a hay mat. And what is supposed to go on top of the hay mat, at least in the listing, is this little thing here. So we have this and you could like put it on top of the hay mat and you could put like cute little keypads in it and stuff like that to make like a little hidey home that's also chewable. It won't be toxic to your guinea pigs. I believe Austin from the pig room has one of these as well. I could be wrong, but I feel like I've seen like something like this in his cage. And this is really cute. This was like honestly one of the most expensive sets that I have bought for <laughs> my guinea pigs, but I got an Amazon gift card for my birthday. So I just spent the whole gift card on my animals. So I didn't actually have to pay for all of these. Yeah, that was like a little little kit. I believe it was only like $30 though, which isn't really that bad. All right. And the next thing I got, which I'm the most excited for, because I'm actually going to use it in my video for tomorrow. I'm doing a morning routine. It should be up before this video, but I got a digital kitchen scale to weigh all of my guinea pigs. I have not been doing weekly weigh-ins or monthly weigh-ins like I should be because honestly, I just didn't even really think about it. Pumpkin and Spice got weighed before I got them. So I know how much they weigh. And I did weigh Mocha and Latte when they were babies, but as they got older, it just completely didn't cross my mind. And when guinea pigs are sick, it's actually sometimes hard to know unless you're taking their weight every week. And if they're dropping in weight a lot, that means that they're sick and they need to see the vet. I got that. I already had a kitchen scale, but it didn't have one with like a bowl. So with the bowl, it's easier just to set your guinea pigs inside of it. And then lastly for the haul right now, I got a dog seat, dog car seat cover. Because like I said, I'm going to the mountains for the weekend with my dogs and there is people coming to watch my animals. I'm paying them to watch my animals. So don't worry about that guys. I, I do have vacations every once in a while. It's only for a weekend, but I am getting it. My dogs haven't gone in super long car rides. I think the longest they've ever been in the car is probably like 30 minutes. So I got this dog seat cover that just attaches to the front seat and the back seat and I'll put their beds and stuff in there as well, just so they're safer. And if any of them like get nauseous in any way, because they used to get nauseous when they were puppies, then my seats are protected because you know, I kind of care about my car. So yeah, this is really cool. It's machine washable. It was pretty expensive, but I've been wanting to get one for a while. So I figured with my gift card, I would just go ahead and get it. 
All right, and then lastly, as you can see from back here for right now, I did get a, another sewing machine. I have not taken it out of the box yet. The other sewing machine that I bought a couple videos ago is great. It really, it doesn't work bad at all, but I am wanting to make really thick projects, especially in the future more. If I think about selling the stuff that I make, I want to make my pee pads and my liners thicker than when I'm making them. And the sewing machine that I bought just can't handle it. So I'm sending that sewing machine to a friend, someone that can actually use it and learn from it and I bought the more expensive one that I originally couldn't afford but I can afford now. It is for heavy duty projects is what it says. It's the Singer Heavy Duty. I tried to find any other brands but when I looked up like the best cheaper, this was like $250 I think, $200. When I looked up online like good cheaper sewing machines for fleece, this popped up in most of the articles. So I'm hoping that it'll work better. I know that it'll definitely work better for me than the other one will and I'm just excited to start using it and it's really cute. I mean it's like a greenish gray color and I really like that. I'll let you guys know how I like that but not saying the other sewing machine I bought is bad in any way because it's not. I'm just um wanting to try something a little bit like higher quality since I can afford it. That's my little haul for right now. It's already 17 minutes long. I'll probably still be purchasing stuff but I will keep you guys updated if I have more things to show you. Hey guys it's a couple days later. It is the 16th and I have a couple of more packages here that is animal related so I'm going to show you what I bought. So three of the packages are from Amazon. One of the packages from Joann's. Like I said, I had a couple more fabrics that I ordered. They were delivered today. The first package I have right here is a package of syringes. It is always good to have syringes on hand if you have any type of animal because you never know when you'll ever need to like liquid feed them medication or hand feed them and stuff like that. And syringes are a really good way to do that. So I just got a pack of a bunch of different size syringes just in case I ever need to feed like critical care or something to one of my guinea pigs or like in the past I had to give liquid medication to my rats and that was a pain in the butt so having extra syringes will keep everything clean so I did order a pack of those. Next in this package I bought some oxbow treats. So I use the vitamin C ones all the time as little treats for my guinea pigs to give them some extra vitamin C supplements but I wanted to try the other kinds that they had. They also had like three other ones that I'll buy eventually but the ones that I see people use the most are the vitamin C ones, the urinary support, and the digestive support. So I figured I would just go ahead and pick them up to give them to my guinea pigs for just extra nutrition. I'll just read what it says on the back of the urinary support bag. So this says natural science urinary support is designed to promote healthy renal function and overall urinary health in small animals. And then it tells you like the ingredients they have. It tells you what each is used for. So for example, cranberry supports healthy function of the urinary tract and normal pH. And then for the digestive support, it says it's designed to support the digestive health of your pet. It includes high fiber Timothy hay chicory root for it's a prebiotic ginger root, chamomile, and fenugreek seed. Definitely said that wrong, but it also tells you like how often you should feed it. And then in the next package, I got a, another hay bag. Two more black hay bags. I got two more just cause you never know when you need more hay bags. And I wanted to get more black ones for when I decorate for Halloween because I don't want to have like the colorful ones in the cages during Halloween time. So I got this pack. They smell really bad. I'm gonna let them air out for a little while. So that was the Amazon packages. And now I'm going to show you the fabrics that I bought from Joann's because I know you guys like seeing that kind of stuff. All right, so here is the box of fabrics. As you can see, we have Halloween fabrics because that is what I ordered, obviously. So I just ordered two more yards of black because I'm almost already out of black. I got two yards of this really bright orange. They didn't have like the fall colored orange, but I figured this would look nice underneath here even though it is a little bright i think it would still look nice under that or it would look nice underneath this one but not too sure yet i just got it because it came back in stock and i was looking for it so it is a very bright orange but i got two more yards of the fabric i just showed you because i wanted to make enough for like a couple liners and i think i'm only able to make like two with the other one so i wanted to be able to make more and then lastly this is a new fabric i got this one which is like absolutely stunning i could also use the orange underneath this one as well because there's oranges in the flowers but oh my god i am obsessed with this got two yards of this as well it was so expensive these halloween fabrics are so expensive right now so i wasn't able to get many yardage of these but i got enough to be able to make 
like a full set of liners for each individual cage with them. That was more of my little haul. I'll keep you guys updated if I purchase any more things. I think I'm planning to go to Five Below and Ross and maybe like Petco and stuff on Monday. So we'll see if we'll find any like cheap stuff from there. Hey guys, it's September 24th and I just got back from doing a little bit of shopping and I did get some animal stuff. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. I got some stuff from Five Below for the animals. And then I also have a package here from my friend Austin from the pig room. Um, I sent him a package of some name tags I made for his pigs and he also sent me a package back. So we did like a little exchange. So I'm gonna open that. Really excited. Um, all of the stuff that I got today was actually pretty cheap because it was from Five Below. So let me show you what I got. So the first thing I got was these two pet beds that I'm going to use for the guinea pigs. So I actually got some of their pet beds last year during Christmas time. It was like a little Christmas tree and the pigs really enjoyed it. They did not have the ones that I wanted in stock. Um, I was hoping that they had the candy corns, but they only had these left. So these are just $5 pet beds and they have stars and moons on them, only $5 each. They had tons of Halloween animal stuff. So I got two of them to use for my guinea pigs for the Halloween video. And then this is for myself, but I figured I'd show it. I got a Nightmare Before Christmas shirt for $5. And I also got a Goosebumps shirt for $5. I love Five Below, it's so cheap. And then the last animal thing I got from Five Below, because honestly, I just think it's super cute. I got these pet and owner socks. They also had pet and owner like pajamas. You could get the pajama set for yourself and also for your animal, but they were sold out. So I did get these socks, as you can see here. They have the socks for your dog or cat, and then they have the socks that you can wear to match. So I'm not gonna keep socks on my dogs. It would just be for like fun purposes. So I'll probably film it right Right after this um, clip that I'm showing just to show the socks like on Mochi because I feel like it would just look so cute. So that's what I got from Five Below. Every single one of those items were only $5. So if you're looking for some cheap Halloween stuff for your guinea pigs or dogs, cats, they have a lot at Five Below. All right, next let's open the package from Austin. I'm super excited. I believe he made me some pee pads for my guinea pigs. And he is, I don't know when this video is going to be coming out, but he has recently opened an Etsy shop and I will try to remember to put it down below if you guys are interested. He makes really, really good quality guinea pig items like tunnels, pee pads, pads, liners, all of that stuff. So he wrote me a little note, which is so sweet. I love his handwriting. And it says from Austin and my 13 piggies. And I'm pretty sure he has more than 13 now, which is pretty funny. So he wrapped everything in like really spooky tissue paper because he knows that I am obsessed with like spooky witchy stuff. First we have this. Wow, I've never actually seen this fabric. This fabric is so spooky. I love this. And the quality is insane. Look how straight the lines are. He has it in like a diagonal pattern, like a crisscross pattern. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. He's gonna have stuff in his shop like this if you guys wanna check out his shop. This is really nice quality. It feels like he has two sets of U-Haul liners in the inside, so this is definitely gonna be really absorbent. I'm really excited. I'm probably going to actually use this like this weekend for my cage changes. And then we have this one. I already know what fabric this is because it's, this is my all-time favorite fabric, so I knew that he would include this. Oh, so yeah. he actually used a mint green on the other side of the purple. I never would have thought of that, but that actually looks really like Halloween themed together. That's actually a really cool color scheme. So it's actually a bit different than pee pads I made. So I actually had this fabric and I made a couple liners and pee pads with it and it's my all-time favorite fabric, so he included it as well, but I never really thought of using this color behind it and I really like the way that that looks together. So thank you so much, Austin, for sending me these two pee pads. I will be using them all the time because these are amazing and they're such good quality. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sending these to me. It's so sweet of you. And lastly, I got some litter for my cats because I do a like deep change of my cat's litter once a month. So I bought some litter to do that. So that was my little haul for today. I don't think I'm getting any more animal stuff by the end of the month since I only have a week left, but there may be some stuff coming in. I believe there's some Amazon stuff that was late that is coming in by the end of the month. So stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and put these little socks on Mochi because I wanna see what they look like. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Back to one. Does he still have one on? He's got one on, but he's, he's gonna pull that one off too. <laughs> he pulled them off immediately and now he's running around with it. Give me the sock. Give me that sock. Have his other one. Give it. Give it to me. He'll let go. Give it to Eventually. me. Look how tiny. 
<laughs> okay guys, it's actually the same day as the last clip that I showed you because I was not expecting to get some more guinea pig stuff in the mail. This package got lost and I never thought I was going to receive it and then it showed up. So I have two big boxes here full of guinea pig stuff. The big box down here that you see, this really big one, this is actually just 12 sets of U-Haul pad liners. These are what I use in between my fleeces to make fleece liners for my guinea pigs. So I did buy a 12 pack of those and I'll show you what those look like in a second. But this box right here has some guinea pig beds. Um, if you watched my last rescue video where I rescued two new pigs, these were supposed to come during that video and they never did. I'm not planning on buying any more beds and stuff in the future because I want to try to make my own beds and tunnels myself. But these were really cute and they've been on my animal wish list for a while. If you guys didn't know, I do have a wish list for my animals down below. So if you guys would like to buy anything for my animals, um, I will like show them on social media and thank you guys on a video and stuff. So I'll have that down below. But I heard there has been a shortage in like packing supplies and I don't know if that's the reason why so many Amazon packages are getting like delayed right now or something but this has no packing supplies good thing everything is just like beds but so here's the first bed right here it is pink it is so cute so I've seen this on Amazon for a while now and I just haven't gotten it they also have it in gray I believe and it comes with a really nice cushioned pillow that you can just take out and rewash and this seems like a nice quality to wash it probably wouldn't be a nice quality to put in the dryer but this is really cute I don't remember what size I got yeah it doesn't say what size I got but I will put the link for it down below if I did get a size it was probably a medium or a large and this is definitely big enough for even two guinea pigs to sleep inside of this so I'm probably gonna put this in my girls enclosure just because it is literally so freaking cute all right next we have this bed and all of these products i believe are actually like similar brands or the same brand so that's pretty cool all right so the next bed i got was this one right here and it's just this grayish brown color and it has little ears at the top like a little bear and this one is really really nice um this one's not very like sturdy this i feel like is really nice to use if you want your guinea pigs to sit in your lap or something like that really cute i don't know if the guinea pigs will use it but I think Kevin would, but Kevin's too big for it, so. And then we have this one right here. I believe this one was super cheap and that's why I got it. Um, it didn't have any reviews or anything. Oh, this is probably, okay, this is definitely too small for a guinea pig. Way too small for a guinea pig. That's probably why it was so cheap because this is definitely more for like a hamster or something, but hamsters really shouldn't have this either because they chew on fabric and they could impact themselves. But yeah, I could use this for my rats. I'll probably give this to my pet rats. They will chew through this as well. I thought it was gonna be big enough for a guinea pig, but unfortunately it isn't. So I'll give this to my rats. Usually if I get a bed or something that's not big enough for my guinea pigs, I always just give it to my rats instead. Then right here, we have two boxes with some ceramic food bowls that I ordered. And since there was no packaging in this box, I don't know if these are gonna be broken or not. I really hope they're not. Okay, cool. Looks like one of them came intact. So here's the first ceramic food bowl. It's like a little grapefruit. And I got these for the guinea pigs pellets. They are kind of small, but they can definitely fit some daily pellets in for the pigs. And this one survived as well. So these are the two packs that I got, a watermelon and a grapefruit. And these are just food bowls for the guinea pigs. And they're super cute. They're really heavy too. So this will be nice for coffee because coffee likes to tip his food bowl all the way over. So that may help him not do that. And then lastly, I got one of these wooden tunnels. So here is what it looks like. So you can turn it into a little hide for your guinea pigs or they can use it as like a bridge to go onto something. These things are really nice and bendable and they're also chewable. I made sure to look up what wood they used to make sure it was safe for guinea pigs. Um, I don't remember what wood it was because like I said, I bought this like three weeks ago, but yeah, it's just like a little hidey home. Um, this is a little bit smaller. I think I got the smaller size, so probably only one guinea pig would fit under this. Yeah, that was my little haul that I was supposed to get two weeks ago and never got. Now we have this huge package right here. So as you can see inside of this huge box, I got a big, two big sets of these U-Haul liners. There's six in each big package here. So I just buy these in bulk on Amazon and they aren't the actual U-Haul brand. The off-brand ones are actually cheaper. So I got these full 12 
sheets of U-Haul padding for, I believe, $50, um, which is cheaper than getting like one guinea dad liner for your guinea pigs. So. so that was my little haul for today, at least. And I will keep you guys updated if I get anything by the end of the month. Hey guys, so it is actually September 27th today and I ordered a couple things from PetSmart and I wanted to show you what I got. And I also ordered some more Halloween stuff that I think is coming before the end of September. So you guys will see that as well. This video is probably so long. <laughs> Like I said, I went to PetSmart or I ordered some stuff from PetSmart. They do DoorDash now. So they deliver all my animal stuff to my front door. Loving it. So I got some worms for my bearded dragon. His main diet is not wax worms and super worms at all. These are just little treats that I give him. He mainly eats dubia roaches as his like main, main insect diet, but I do give him super worms and wax worms when he is out of dubia roaches or to hold him over until I can get some more because I do order my dubia roaches in the mail. So I ordered two things of super worms and one thing of wax worms. I do have to keep these in the fridge, but I do want to disclaimer I don't give him those every single day those are just given as treats and this next thing is actually for my fish tank so you guys have been asking for more fish content unfortunately it's not that easy to make fish content because all fish do is swim around in circles I don't feel like there's much of a video I can really do on him but I do show him on my Instagram every once in a while and they had a Halloween aquarium decor line I only got one because I didn't want to fill his tank up full of a bunch of like painted plastic stuff I'm only gonna put this in here for Halloween but this is thrills and chills Halloween decor and apparently it glows under blue LEDs which I do have in my fish tank so this is going to be the Halloween decor for my fish tank that's it but we have something and then for Halloween for my mouse enclosure the all living things actually had a Halloween themed paper bedding it said that it was non scented but right here it says Halloween so let me smell it real fast and make sure it's a non scented bedding okay yeah so this is non scented bedding um, I don't really use normally use all living things paper bedding I usually use like care fresh or um, what's the other brand Katie clean and cozy that's the ones that I like to use but this was the only brand that had like a Halloween type bedding. So I'm just going to use this for Dale's enclosure for Halloween. It is like just these nice Halloween colors going to be mixing it with the Aspen bedding that I use for him. And I also ordered a bag of cat food, but I left it in the living room where my cats are. Yeah, that was my little PetSmart haul. And I will keep you guys updated probably at the end of the week with the last couple things that I got for my animals this month, which has been a lot of stuff. I've spent so much money this month. Hey guys, so the lighting might be really bad, but this is the last little clip of me hauling some stuff for the end of September. So I just got the remaining packages that I was waiting for to show you guys. So this is all Halloween stuff that I'm going to be using for the decorating my pet room, decorating my animal enclosures for Halloween. That video will probably be out in like the middle of October. I'm thinking around like the 15th because I don't want it to be it too soon and I also don't want it to be like too late in the month. So I'm gonna kind of do it in the middle and I'm really, really excited for it. I'm gonna go all out. Like this room is going to be completely spooky. So stay tuned for that. All right, so we have another little table mantle cover because since filming the last clip at the beginning of this video, I recently got two more pigs that I rescued and that was in two videos ago or something. And I needed another one because I have another table. Then I ordered some mini Christmas lights. These are just seven feet long, 7.5 feet long. I just got it to hang underneath this table right here. I probably shouldn't be swinging a knife around. Or Kevin, just to make under this table a little bit brighter for him. It gets a little dark under here. I think Kevin enjoys the darkness like his mother, but. Next we have this little spooky thing. I'm so excited. I saw this on Amazon like three months ago and I've been waiting to buy it just until I felt like it was the right time. And here it is. So I actually got this for Dale's enclosure. This is just like a little like Heidi home that he can go inside of. This is definitely not big enough for a hamster if any of you guys are wondering this is literally the perfect size for one mouse and it also comes with these little like cooling blocks you can like freeze them and it keeps it cool in there for your mouse I don't know if it came in different sizes I don't really remember but this one is very very tiny and it's just going to make Dale's little cage so cute and then I got two more sets of pumpkin string lights which I showed you at the beginning of the video because I have two more tables to put lights on all right and the next one is also for Dale I believe it is by the same brand and it is a black cat as you can see the cat is a little bit bigger than the ghost um still they both would not fit a hamster they would both fit a mouse perfectly though um, I don't even know if Dale will use 
use this. He probably would use it if I stuffed some of his like bedding inside of it or some food. So you can use this to put like some food in. Literally so cute. Like I saw these and I just knew I had to get them. You don't even have to use these for animal enclosures. You could literally just use these as decoration, but I just feel like they're gonna be so perfect. Like with the Halloween bedding, it's gonna be amazing. Then we have a, I actually didn't even know this was Hallmark, but we have a miniature Pumpkin King tree topper because I actually got a tree, which I will show you in a second. So this is the Pumpkin King from The Nightmare Before Christmas. If you guys didn't know, Nightmare Before Christmas is like one of my all time favorite movies. I'm obsessed with it. It is my personality. And here it is. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's just a mini tree topper. Oh my gosh, I love this. Like, I don't think you guys really like comprehend and understand how much I love Halloween like it is my favorite holiday of all time like I am my happiest during Halloween time so these Halloween items are literally making my heart burst with happiness and then another item for the tree is I got a little Halloween tree skirt so this is actually big enough for like a full-sized tree I thought it said online it was for a mini tree but this is actually really big as you can see it has spider webs on it it seems pretty nice quality and all of these things were pretty cheap I might even use this for my Christmas tree this year <laughs> because um, I'm actually making I have a black Christmas tree that I've had for a couple years now and I'm actually going to decorate it Halloween Halloween themed for Christmas because I don't like Christmas as much as Halloween so that's my what I'm doing this year. I know absolutely none of you asked but I'm telling you anyway. Alright and then lastly here I believe that this is the tree. It's in a pretty small package but it is a small tree. So this is a tinsel five foot tree. Here's what it's going to look like. It has all of the building materials and the instructions underneath all of this tinsel but it's basically a tree that you just build up. It's five foot tall. You could hang ornaments from it if you want wanted to I'm not going to be but like imagine this with the Halloween pumpkin king topper on the top of it like this pet room is going to be so cute my guinea pigs and rats literally have their own tree in here so that was all of the stuff that I have bought this month of September so just keep that in mind I am a little extra I spend all of my money on my animals basically so everybody's different but keep in mind that's how much stuff I buy in a month having 15 plus animals so a lot of this stuff was just stuff that I don't necessarily need but like I said I really enjoy buying stuff for my animals and I'm so excited for you guys to see the Halloween video like I'm really hoping it comes out the way that I think it's going to come out to be because it's just gonna be amazing thank you guys so much for watching um, make sure to check out my social medias down below if you guys didn't know I do have a main channel and the entire month of October I'm going to be vlogging and uploading every single day there will be behind the scenes animal content in those vlogs as well just because they're in my daily life so if you want to see some animal content and art content behind the scenes life stuff of me house hunting and everything it will be on my main channel the whole month of October so I'll have a link for that down below I also have a patreon down below where I will be posting all of the pictures of my Halloween decor probably way before you you guys will see them here on YouTube. So if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I have that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.